<laughs> ah, Halloween. A holiday I've never truly celebrated. I enjoy holidays that come with meals, such as Christmas, birthdays, and that one festival only my family celebrates. So Easter, Valentine's and Halloween, holidays predominantly centred around eating enough sugary sweets and chocolate to create a canine genocide really don't fit my interests. But I do celebrate the season by spending time with my friends. Dead Realm is where Damned left off. People call it a sequel even though the games are designed by two different studios. Imagine playing hide and seek in two different games, one being Call of Duty, the other one being Gmod. One is slow and clunky, not built for that style of play and very poorly executed but very serious, while the other is more diverse, a bit more cartoonish, with a control style that allows more fluid platforming and play. Respectively, that's Damned and Dead Realm. The former is clunky and stiff, the latter is more controllable and fun. Dead Realm doesn't rely on the rather boring fetch mechanic of key finding. You don't match keys to doors, it's not objective based, it's survival based. You're a group of highly varied teenagers ticking all the diversity boxes or running for your life from some spooky baby or wolfman or old woman? Movement is fast paced, meant for chases and platforming rather than long slugs through the darkness. Where Dead Realm differs is the way that it scares you. Damned is slow for a reason, its method of fear is the surprise of the unknown. Everything is dark, lit only by torch, it's very serious, you feel trapped and alone as some random spectre or beast roams the halls for you. It's tense and foreboding, and the uncorruptive controls adds to that in some way. Dead Realm is much more fast paced. It's about chases and jump scares, the victims can fight back with decoys and shields meant to block the ghosts from their path. They can check the cameras a la Five Nights at Freddy's style to see if they're being followed, or use their own decoys to get to high spots and hide away. If I were to pick the two, Dead Realm would win every time. It's all I hoped Damned would be. Damned did it first, but Dead Realm refined it. It's smoother, better built and more interesting, and with the continuous development, I'll be returning to Dead Realm regularly. Section Studios have made an absolute gem here. There are some negatives though. Some of the modes seem a little pointless. Hide and Reap is the classic hunt, which is my preferred mode. While the others seem a little vestigial, connection issues can cause ghosts to be unable to reap their victims even when they're inside of them. Coupled with the fact that the main scare tactic of the game is to jump scare, more lion-hearted people might be put off. Not me though. Jump scares terrify me. I mean, they're so sudden, they come out of nowhere and- OH GOD! You, you, you will like this game if you like damned baby ghosts and running for your life? Dead Realm receives an indie bin recommendation. One more. Oh, I pressed one button. <laughs>